Hey everybody, it's Sherry. Uh, today I want to talk about animals in the animal kingdom and our pets. Uh, right now, it's more important than ever to recognize the ascension symptoms in our animals and also um, their high vibration and what exactly they're here to teach us on this earth. Uh, I've got about 18 years of uh, animal experience and so that was my first love, my first passion. And so I want to make sure that um, I continually support um, their um, cause, so to speak, because they are here on the planet for different reasons. So let's talk about um, our pets first. So dogs and cats, uh, primarily, uh, we, I mean, there are other uh, smaller exotic animals that we have for pets, but for right now, let's just concentrate on um, the dogs and cats. So dogs are here um, for many reasons, but mostly, mostly they're here as our um, our guides and to give us support and unconditional love. Uh, there's a reason why their name spelled backwards is God, uh, because they really are sent here from God to show us what unconditional love looks like. Uh, if you've, if anyone has ever had a dog, um, they are the most loving, genuine, um, just happy to be around you no matter what. They, they want to serve you. Um, they are just, they want to be around you all the time, most often. Uh, some of them have more traumatic experiences, unfortunately, um, and their personalities may shift. But for the most part, that's why they're here. They're here to absorb our negative energy. They have a, a way of, their, their sensory system is much more heightened than ours because they can't communicate through voice. Um, or if talking, they bark, but they can't uh, communicate with us uh, in the way that we communicate through words. So they use their sensory system. They have very keen smell and they have very keen hearing and they also have a sixth sense. So they know um, they know how our how to read our energy. They know if we're happy, if we're sad, if we need um, if we need love from them, if we need them to stay away. Uh, they know all of that. They can read our energy. They can read the energy of other people. You know, if you've ever had somebody come in your home that's a pretty nice person, but your dog reacted poorly to them, doesn't necessarily mean that that person is bad. It just means their energy was a low vi at a low vibration at the time, and it and it threw the dog off where they didn't not necessarily like that energy because they didn't know this person well enough to know if they could trust them based on the vibration that they were given off. Now, the, now there are other times where they come encounter with somebody who is genuinely bad and they will react a little bit more severe, maybe growling, barking, or putting their tail between their legs and kind of going back because they're unsure. Um, and, and so they, they, are, they are energy, um, what am I trying to say? They are expert energy readers. But really what they're here to do is support their families and show us what unconditional love looks like. Um, they just, they vibrate at a, they vibrate at a frequency of love, the highest vibration all the time. And they absorb our lower vibrational energy willingly because they want to, they want us to be in the best possible state of being. So when they put their paw on you, or they put their head in your lap or they they t find a way to just get like touch you or or just be in in contact with you in some way that's them taking on the energy that's low vibrational in your field and they they can actually absorb it and they can alchemize it much easier and then they let it go and they know they can do that for us so they do it willingly when animals become ill that's usually because they have taken on too much maybe they're in a house with a lot of different people or their owner in particular has a lot going on and they take on too much and then what happens is that energy becomes trapped in their bodies and they're unable to process it and release it as easily as they once were able to um, different factors are uh, can can cause that their diet their environment their age different things just like things affect us they can affect them they can affect them as well but that's really what the dogs uh, uh, beautiful dogs are here for um, they're just here for companionship now cats are very different so cats are very much so dogs are very connected to the earth cats are very connected to spirit the spirit realm so they usher spirits uh, and, 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 and negative energy out of your home and away from them. They don't like the way it feels. They will combat it and go after it. That's why cats oftentimes are hissing or growling in the you know in the corner of the room. No one knows what they're looking at and they're gazing and, and very intently staring at something in the home, in the corner, upstairs, something like that. Cause they can see the, um, the spirits coming through and the good ones, they, they just leave alone, but the bad ones, 
they will literally usher them out of your home. They're more reserved. Um, they don't, they're not as affectionate. Now I have a Sphinx and they're, they're, they're the, uh, the, they're the uh, minority. They're very friendly and the, he follows me around everywhere I go and he's much more like a dog. So there are exceptions to what I'm saying for both animals or for all animals really, but primarily cats are more of a protector. They're more, um, independent. They want to be left alone. They'll give you love on their terms, so you can't force it with them. Um, you know, they're much more willing to turn around and bite their owner where a dog wouldn't do that or, or scratch or something like that. But they, they vibrate at a high frequency of love as well, but they're more on guard. Um, and they're very connected to the spirit realm. So they sleep a lot, uh, and they, that's by design because they are actually traveling and doing other things, and they're very highly intelligent. Um, and so they're here to support us. It's just in a different way. So if you have a dog or cat right now that might be acting a little funny, sleeping a lot, or not wanting to eat or vomiting, or just acting funny and restless, recognize that they could be having ascension symptoms just like us. I'm not saying don't take them to the vet, um, but um, discern their symptoms and try to recognize how acute they are. And if they're isolated and they don't have, and there's nothing else going on, um, for instance, if they're vomiting, but um, it doesn't seem to be happening every single time they eat and, and they're not and they're also not lethargic, they're not drinking water, you know, those are things you want to take them to the vet for. But if they are just, you know, feeling restless or just maybe once or twice have vomited after they ate, you know, and they don't seem they just don't seem to be themselves, just recognize that they're they're feeling the the vibrational frequency shifts that 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 you're experiencing as their owner, but also um, the earth and the planet around them, they feel everything, even if it's outside of your home, even if it's not yours, uh, they feel it all. And so there isn't much you can do for them other than just giving them lots of love. Um, be patient with them. Don't yell at them. Don't uh, reprimand them for, for certain things. Just try to be patient because they do uh, feed off of your own energy. Make sure you're giving them, if you can afford it, the best possible food um or water and if you can't just bless the food before you give it so that it's at its highest vibration you know possible um and just give them the opportunity to just allow the symptoms to uh flow and and shift and and they, they can realign themselves mostly by being outside um and so taking them outside as much as possible letting their feet touch the ground um, if you have a cat and you're not able to do that uh, just give them space so the animal kingdom in general, I'm talking nature, um, wild animals that are not domesticated, you know, they're here to teach us as well. They're here to, for, they're, they're here to do a lot of things, but they're here to, um, they're the keepers of the planet. Um, and so they're watching over and they're, they are doing their part uh, to maintain the energy balance of um, Mother Earth. Uh, they prefer to stay more away from humans because our energy is so erratic. Uh, and unpredictable to them that they and and understandably what we've done to them over centuries of time through hunting and and littering and uh, taking down forests where they live and all sorts of, of horrible things putting them in zoos they're understandably a little bit reluctant to be around people because they uh, they don't trust a majority of the of humans um, but they can read our energy so they do know the good ones out there who are not going to hurt them but a lot of the animals that in the last, I would say, 50 years that have gone in extinct, um, I have been told that that is uh, by design. They have decided to leave the planet. They no longer wish to be here. Um, they're not serving us in the way that they're meant to, and we are not learning the lessons that they're meant to give or to teach us, so they've decided to go. Um, but the good news, and I've said this a few times in a few different interviews, um, I believe that they're going to come back. Um, I, I'm, I'm not. I know which ones, but I'm not going to say um, right now uh, because that's not really the point. But the point is, as we move into a higher frequency, and we start to shift our awareness as a, as a collective consciousness, and we are more respectful to the earth um, and to the environment and to the animals, uh, the animal kingdom in general, and to look at them more with uh, mutual respect and admiration and uh, just more of a positive outlook um, on, on what exactly their role on the earth is and not necessarily here for our entertainment, um, then, then they'll come back. Uh, I think a majority of them will in a time frame that they are ready for. 
Um, I think a lot of a lot of cool things are going to come back uh, to the planet, but only when the time is right. So I encourage you right now to, uh, if you have your pets, love them, give them lots of of positive energy, um, thank them for all they do for you, and and recognize that they are doing a lot in their little bodies that you may not be aware of. Um, and then just send love and light out to the animal kingdom and thank them as well for what they're here to do, their beauty. Send them love um, and appreciation and respect and um, and they'll feel it and they know it. Even if you think it, it will have, when, you, we, when we have our thoughts, many things happen energetically, but there's a ripple effect that happens and it goes out into our energy field and, and it goes out into the universe. And as a collective consciousness, we all have the ability to tap into that. Uh, everybody's th that's how sometimes you just read people's thoughts or you, you know that your friend is about to call you and you and when you before they call you're like gosh I'm thinking about them and then they call you that's tapping into the collective consciousness we all have the ability to do that um, we all have that awareness uh, but we have to be at a frequency high enough to be able to do that and animals my point is that animals are at that consciousness you know they they have never been in the third dimension even though they're in a third dimensional space with us they resonate much higher than that we do. They're connected to spirit. They're connected to the earth. Um, they're way more intelligent than we give them credit for. Uh, and so they are in, you know, if you want to say the fifth dimension, um, you know, that's where they reside and, and much higher. So, um, you know, they don't have the lessons uh, that we have. They don't come here uh, for contracts and uh, karma, they, they don't need any of that. They really are here for us, domesticated pets, that is. And then the wildlife is really here uh, for the balance and the beauty of, of just the earth in itself. And, and they weren't created for our entertainment or our joy, but we can appreciate them um, in, many, uh, in many different ways. And I think we're moving in that direction where we'll be able to do that more. Um, and so I, I just wanted to send this video today because I've been, I have my own pets and I've noticed that they've had some reactions lately. Um, and I've had some emails from people asking about their pets. Um, I am a registered veterinary technician, so I do have a, a, a medical background with, with these, with these beautiful animals, but I also have the energetic experience and, and I'm, I'm really more tapping into that, uh, awareness right now to really understand things a little bit, a little bit more deep and how uh, and how and what they're going through right now with this transition um but it overall it's a beautiful thing for everybody so um maintain try to maintain your awareness in a higher vibration of of great uh, gratitude for them um appreciation thanking them giving them lots of love uh and um and we're all going to be getting through this together um it's just you know it takes a little bit of time um, so if anybody has any questions about their animals, things that they might be doing, you know, I did definitely take them to the vet if it seems more serious, but just think that um, it could be uh, energetic symptoms that they're physically experiencing. Um, so if you're not sure, send me an email. I'll put the, the, uh, the email address and website below and um, on all of my pages um, and um, we'll be in touch. Uh, I'll be doing a couple lives this coming week, and I have some cool, exciting announcements. Um, we're about to launch Divinely Guided uh, Metaphys Metaphysical Center for Children. So we're going to start our children um, classes coming in February of this 2021. So I'm really excited about that. We'll have more videos and more information to come. Uh, you can go ahead and check out the website, divinelyguidedchildren.com. There's not a lot of information yet, but we're, we're adding to it every day. Uh, so that's really exciting. Um, so look forward to some of the lives I'll be doing. I'll be doing um, a live every week with uh, Prime um, on, his, on the collective Super Collective Consciousness channel on YouTube. I'll put the link below as well. And then I'll be doing my own lives coming up soon. So a lot of really exciting things coming up. Um, so hang in there, everybody. Contact me if you need any, um, any advice or any help. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be, uh, I'll be around soon. Bye, everybody.